Hi everyone! The topic for this month's healthy living is dealing with burnout. This affects your social, mental, and emotional well-being. This is extremely prevalent for students in high school as we're faced with different challenges throughout the school year. It is not uncommon to have a sense of urgency and a tremendous amount of stress as we come closer to the end. The point is that you can experience burnout from yourself, your friends, school, and anything else in general. But first, let's talk about what burnout is. Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. So, how do we know we're burnt out? Let's talk about this from an academic perspective. Well, you typically exhibit signs of burnout by being physically sleepy or exhausted, having a lack of focus or zoning out, being unable to absorb a lot of information at hand, or having negative emotions towards learning. This can lead to decreased motivation that can impact your academic performance. The effects of having a low academic performance can increase your stress and anxiety, which worsens your overall situation. However, we have some tips to help you combat this uncommon issue. Well, first, take our words with a grain of salt. These are some ways to help you combat burnout. However, some may not work for you, and that's okay. You should test what feels best for you since you know more about yourself than anyone. First, make time for things that make you happy. Set aside some time to enjoy hobbies you like. They can decrease stress and put you in a better mood. Second, eat some good quality food. Eating foods that are fulfilling will give you nutrients to your brain and give you energy. Third, have someone to talk about your issues. Talk to a trusted friend or adult that you can talk to about your feelings. Sometimes you need to rant to let out all the emotions that have been bothering you that you've hidden deep inside. Even crying is a general form of therapy. However, don't be afraid to ask for help if you're struggling a lot. Burnout comes in many forms. You can still experience burnout from the people you hang out with. They may be a bad influence on you or their actions don't sit right with your views. This is normal. It's normal to outgrow the people you've been close with because we're always changing each day. You may ask yourself, what could I do to distance myself from these people who often bring my mood down or make me feel uncomfortable? Well, it's easier to be straightforward, but for those who are anxious, give it time. Slowly start making short, curt conversations rather than prolonging your contact with them. Over time, they will realize that you both are just mutually taking a step back. We mainly focus on academic and relationship burnout because we know high school students struggle with those the most. Just know that there are other variables surrounding burnout and that you are not alone. We hope you enjoyed our healthy living video this month. See you next time. Bye.